What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back in more diecast, and today we're gonna be unboxing two new for 2024 Hot Wheels Super Rigs trucks. So if you've seen these videos before, you know I'm a big fan of this line. I really like the creativity they put into it, and these two castings definitely represent that creativity. So over here, we have the Scrub-A-Dub driver. This is a really good looking truck. It's another one on theme with the duck and roll like the rubber duck. Uh, they've come up with this casting, the monster truck, which we'll unbox in another video, and then now this one. So it looks like it's a giant bathtub with some pipes, just an awesome graphic. I look forward to checking out the detail on this one, so that one should be pretty fun to open. And then next one is the latest one I found. This is straight freight, and as, as you can see, there's a lot going on in this one. It looks like it's double stacked, but when we flip it over, we actually see that the trailers come down and they connect almost like one of those big like ice road truck, freight trucks that like connect together in a huge line like multiple trailers after another. Um, so this one should be really fun to open too because we've never really gotten a long trailer like this. Like we're getting a lot of new stuff from it, uh, Hot Wheels this year in this line. Like I don't know if this one has, let's see, if it has the uh, bomber truck. Yeah, the Turbulence Tug, I did an unboxing of that one. Really, really like that truck. Um, it was basically an airplane with big wings. So they're using the connectivity of Hot Wheels to expand these cars beyond the traditional like scope of the packaging. So traditionally a double stack trailer or a double like tandem trailer would go all the way out to here. They can't do that obviously. So now they've found a way to package it and still give you that really long truck length um, without like you know, kind of sacrificing a new expensive packaging prototype or whatever. So these are really cool. I'm really looking forward to opening these. So let's go ahead and open up the Scrub-A-Dub driver first. So this one I found a couple months back. Uh, I think I found this one at Kroger and I think I found this one at Walmart. I can't remember, um, but usually uh, Kroger has been a really good place to check for these. I don't know, during um, like 2020, 2021, Kroger was honestly the best place I found Hot Wheels. Like I found so many good premiums and main lines there. And since then they've kind of um, toned their cars back. Now they're like stacking up a huge bunch of cars, um, but I still find gems like this every once in a while. So let's go ahead and look at this duck and roll. This is such a good casting. This is one that people started collecting immediately just because it has that like allure of rubber duck collecting. And then you have it mixed with Hot Wheels. So especially if you're someone that collects both or just like adorable things, I guess, you know, like I think a lot of like ladies or even like this is one I could give to my mom and she'd be like, oh, a little rubber duck car. Or I could give to like my little nephew and he would think it's cool because it's a duck. Um, but then you actually have like that little like hot rod about it. Um, so it, whether you're a fantasy collector or not like casting collector, um, this is pretty cool. So I like that it has like the Hot Wheels, which is like the, uh, uh, what is that? Like the class in drag racing. Usually it's separated like that. It's got the clear blue wheels, which do look like water if you set it down. Um, it's got a metal chassis there you can see here, duck and roll. 2019, it seems like this casting hasn't been out for that long, but 2019, man, it's been out for five years already. So let's go ahead and check out this truck. So the reason why this has these kind of wheels, because it fits in here and then it looks like it's in a giant bathtub. Like how cool is that? So it looks like they put like almost like bubbles like a bubble bath or there's like kind of waves going into it. And they did a good job making it look like water because when I look at it like this, you can kind of see like the bubbles above it. It definitely looks like a water uh, feature. So it's, I mean, it's really cool. I don't, does that look like a bar of soap at the bottom? It kind of does. Do you see that in there? To me, that's what it looks like. I don't know if that's what it actually is because it'll be really hard to actually see what it is because it's down in the middle of that like acrylic plastic, but that's really, really cool. So um, there we have the Scrub-A-Dub driver, just a great looking logo. Um, like I said before, Hot Wheels uses a lot of design freedom and just creativity in this line because they can, they can just do whatever they want with it. And it shows because they come up with great looking logos like that, like that little rubber duck is so cool. And that almost reminds me right there, the two lines of the Dodge, like the modern Mopar a little bit. So that's kind of interesting. It's got the blue steel wheels on it. So when I flip it over, it just, I mean, it looks pretty smooth. Look at the chassis of that one. So over here, let's see what's metal. So this is plastic and then the whole body over here is metal. I think this is metal actually. This feels like metal. I believe it is. So this part is metal too. 
Uh, I think this whole thing might be metal. This feels this this feels like plastic. But as you can see here, there are two pipes like running into the bathtub, like hot or cold water. They have like little uh, handles on the side. It says Hot Wheels, like I guess they're a little water tank. And that almost looks like a little brush to me. Does it look like that to you? There's like a little piece of plastic. There it goes. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know what that would look like, uh, but that definitely looks like a toothbrush or a little scrub brush or something, which is cool. And then there is the uh, duck and roll right there. And then it says since 1968. What does that say? I think it says Megan K. I don't know. It's probably whoever designed it or designed the livery on it. Uh, but there you can see the matching um, orange stripes to the uh, little graphic over here as well. But that graphic is so cool. Very throwback, like very 50s, 60s gas or kind of hot rod-ish. Uh, but the truck looks awesome too. It looks very, probably like Art Deco, 1950s, maybe even earlier. It just has a really nice, really, really hot rod look to it. So um, it does have a plastic chassis, which is different. But a lot of these uh, bigger trucks do mix metal and plastic a little bit. Um, differently from the traditional Hot Wheels, so it's not a surprise to see that has a plastic chassis, but it is very heavy still because the bulk of this is metal. But man, the detail on this is cool. Is there more detail? Oh yeah, look at that. There's pipes down below too. What's on the back of the truck? Yeah, look at all the piping in there. That is so cool. What is that? That is a little bath mat. Do you see that? Like with the flowers, that's definitely supposed to be a bath mat. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at the amount of detail they shoved in this. Incredible. They did a super job with this, especially when you put the rubber duck in there. Like, look at that whole package. So killer. Absolutely awesome. That's one. I mean, that's just a really cool discussion point of collection when people see it, because the longer you look at it, the more detail you see. And you're like, oh, my gosh, there's a bath mat. There's a little scrub brush. That's, I don't, that might be a bar of soap too. All the piping, the water. I mean, they just did a really fantastic job with that casting. Man, I'm very impressed with that one. So, all right. Hard to follow up on that one, but Straight Freighton is gonna try. So there's something cool I wanna show you with this one too. So uh, the next video I plan to post is the, what is it? The Neon Speeders Series 3 from Hot Wheels. So I had my black light out because I was testing them before the video to see if anyone um, actually glowed. And I put my black light on this and the orange on this glows like crazy. It's really cool to see under the black light. So um, this one, I can't remember what this one is called. Is it Bad Motor? No, Dune Crusher. Bad Motor is the, I think the, what is it? The lightning looking truck. I like this casting. It is like a rally style, um, rally raider style truck with huge shock towers coming out. Um, spare tires in the back and I really like that camo color. I think it looks good. Uh, it's got the dark gray tires. Just a really nice take on a fantasy casting. Again, when when they do fantasy castings in realistic colors, it just takes the castings up a notch. It just makes them look that much better because you could definitely see this existing in real life. Very, very well done. So, all right. So here is the first trailer. Let's go ahead and look at that. It's got like the diamond plating with chains. It's got two Hot Wheels logos in it. It's very nicely detailed. Uh, the chains have really nice detail on them. The injection molding on it is very nice. So that says, what does that say? It just looks like, um, what is it? it looks like graffiti, like on a train car, like a freight train car. And then there's little lockers underneath of it too, which is kind of cool. Interesting. Yeah, it's got it on both sides. So it looks like think yeah they both have connectivity on it so if you were to buy 10 of these you could connect them all together and literally make like a freight train which is kind of like what it's supposed to be like one of those huge freight haulers so let's go ahead and look at the actual truck so this one does this look any different let's see if there if there's two trailers or anything if they're the same yeah these appear to be the same i don't see any differences in them but then when we look back here there's a hat sunglasses and then there is a wrench and a piece of pizza like they were working on the truck right there. That is kind of cool. So the truck itself reminds me of a rally, like a Dakar truck. Um, oh, is that a snake in the top? That is awesome. I didn't even notice that. That's definitely a snake. That is cool. Let's see what else is on here. 
That is really cool. Some exhaust, so that would probably be the big fuel cell with some um, bars over it. That snake is really cool. I'm trying to see what else we can see here. The chassis on this one, I think that is plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. The bulk of the metal, again, is just like um, the, what, I can't remember what this is, Scrubba Dub Driver. I can't, I already forgot the name. Um, like that one, it just has a ton of metal on the chat or on the cab of it rather than the chassis. But there's a lot of nice detail. It's got a lot of lights. It's got, to me, this almost looks like a train where they have one big light on a train, almost like a, uh, like a bright light. I like this. This looks good. I don't know if I'm like missing something, like why there's a snake there and like pizza and stuff. I don't know if it's something I'm missing, but this is really cool. I really like the detail on it. I think both like the trailers go together really well. So let's go ahead and try to snap it in here. Nice, look at that. That is huge. Like look how much longer it is like than the scrub-a-dub driver here. So if we take it all the way to the end, I mean, it's, it's basically double the length. That is awesome. So shout out to Hot Wheels for being able to fit such a long car into a traditional packaging. So then it has articulation all around. So you can like almost make a square triangle with this thing. So if you had a bunch of these cars, you could really like kind of snake. And that might be what the, uh, what that like logo is. Cause it like looks like a snake from above, which it kind of does. I don't know if that's what the, what that is like kind of suggesting, but man, this is really cool. I'm a fan of this one. It also reminds me of the truck that they used to steal the Pantera, the GT40 on Fast Five, where they're like pulling the cars out of the train. It very much looks like the front of that to me. It's a little bigger because I think that was more of like a single cab and this one looks like it has three seats going across. Uh, but that it definitely gives me the vibes of that truck. But man, that's really cool. So I'm going to turn off the lights real quick and show you how much this one glows. Okay, so it's super dark right now. I'm going to bring the black light around and you can see just how much that glows. I mean, it is crazy how much this truck glows. It's, it might be hard to see on camera, but it is like it's literally glowing in the dark. Like it's just like radiating orange light. It is so cool. Even the little LW for leeway um, is on there too. Like, I mean, that's just so cool. So I don't think either of these like super glow. Yeah, that one's just like being lit up. I don't think there's anything, any like little secrets or anything hiding. But this one, as you can see, I mean, like even if I like hold it up, like kind of on the wall, you can see how much that one glows. It's just such a cool cast. I love that they did that in orange because it just looks great. All right, so now that you've seen how glowy that one is, um, let me know what you think of these in the comments. Which one is your favorite? Do you like the uh, Scrub-A-Dub driver or the, what is that? Oh my gosh, I'm being so bad with the name. Straight Freighton, Straight Freighton, Scrub-A-Dub driver. Which one do you like best? Let me know in the comments. I think I like the design and the creativity that went into this one. I don't think you can top that one, but for like, play wise or like functionality wise this one definitely wins because i i mean you could do so much with this truck so now i'm going to look for a few more of these connect them and see what i can do with these but that'll be a fun one to collect so let me know what you think of both these in the comments i really appreciate you watching the sam 64 wheels i will link the a couple more of the super rigs unboxings down in the description if you want to check out more because this is such a cool underappreciated line. There's so much good detail in these that I think most collectors probably pass up. But if you're watching this video, hopefully you like this line and, and we're going to do our work to keep this line alive and kicking. So I really appreciate you watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.